everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video about all the different ways that you can style short hair because I just find that when you have got short hair there are you are very limited at what you can do. So this video is basically going to be me showing you all the different ways that you can style your short hair. Um, and just on a side note, you might notice that my hair is a bit lighter than usual. I um, did dye it again, I dyed it with the Schwartz cough. I think it's called like Ice Platinum or something. It's like the lightest one they've got. And um, when I did it, it did go like a, a light platinum colour like it was meant to. There were a few like orangey bits, but the orangey bits were like the colour of my hair, natural, or not natural hair, they were like the colour of the that my hair was before. But um, when it was like contrasted with the platinum, it looked orangey, but now, Stay tuned if you want to see all the different hairstyles you can do for short hair. Right, so the first hairstyle we're going to be doing is just basically keeping it as it is, but um, like giving it more volume and texture and just making it look a bit more roughed up. So the first thing you're going to need is a fine tooth comb. First thing you're going to want to do is use the end bit. Just, as you can see my parting is over here. So you just want to get a section from here, lift it up and just pop it over there for a minute, like so. My roots have like grown in already, it's terrible. And then just grab a little section from here, pull it out, get the brush section and back comb it. You don't want to really go too viciously with it if you don't want to break your hair. It doesn't need to be back combed too much either. So just like that much. And then just get this section you've put over to the other side and just pull it back and gently comb over it. But don't comb out any of the um, back comb you've just done. <coughs> so like that. And you can see it's got a bit more volume, it's a bit rounder and less flat. And then you want to do the other side, so just comb this out. Again, separate it, grab a section here, <coughs> and then back comb it. So you've got a bit of a pumpkin look going on now. Just brush your fringe how it would usually go. Then you need to get a, preferably a wax, I use a wax, I use um, Fudge, this is like their Urban Collection, <coughs> this was in a haul I did a couple of weeks ago, and I've used a fair bit, as you can see. It looks pretty disgusting, but it, it really does hold very well throughout the day, so you just want to get about that much, put it in the palm of your hand just rub it together through your fingers as well like that <coughs> and then just run it through your hair run it through the top bit first and then pull the top bit up and just like um, I don't know what that is that's like rough it up with your fingers the bits that you um, back end like that and just buff it up a little bit and then put your hair back and just like comb it out with your fingers almost so that the wax is going through. And don't forget your ends as well because you want them you want the whole look to be very texturized. I only recommend putting a tiny bit on your fringe because you don't want it to look greasy. Okay. So that's that bit done, and then do the same for the other side. Now this side, I always usually tuck it behind my ear because I think I look very pumpkin-y when I leave it like straight, so I just always tuck this bit behind, but still buff it up, make it look volumized. And don't forget the back of your hair as well because the back is very boyish, so you want that to have texture as well, you don't want it to be really flat. Right, so that is basically it. 
And then when you've got the look you want, you want to fix it with some hairspray. This is Tresemme Ultimate Hold. <coughs> I hate about hairspray, you choke on it. Right, so with the wax and the hairspray, that should stay in all day. It stays in in my hair all day, but I do generally just buff it up every now and again when I'm out and about. So that is hair style number one. Okay, so the next thing isn't really a style, but it's something you can do with your hair. Um, keep your hair style like I just showed you before, like really volumized and textured. And then you just want to get some like accessories you can put in your hair. I like these things. Um, they're just like stretchy head garments, <laughs> headbands, that's the one. Um, I've got it in like a pinky florally colour, which I think goes better with my hair. And a dark one, like dark. <laughs> that looks very cute just now. And I have like a little flower pin thing. I also have this in like a grey, I got it from Primark, a couple, I think it was like at Christmas. And I got these from New Look uh, like a week, couple of weeks ago. So you just want to pick pick whatever one you want. I prefer this one. Just pop it in like, where you would want it. I usually put it to the side. And then pull this bit. Get all your hair behind it. And tuck it behind your ear. And it would look like that. And then same with this side. Pull it out. And pull your hair behind it that, tuck it behind your ear, um, keep your fringe out though, and then get a comb or something, comb it up and like put it over that, okay, and it looks like something like that, but better, I'm just trying to do this quickly because I'm trying to like stay within the time limit, and the same with this, this I usually put on this side, Okay, so that is basically accessories for your hair. Okay, so the next style is very quick. All you need to do, it's basically just pin your fringe back. You need some grips like this. If you've got blonde hair, I recommend getting the like blondie beige clip. Blah, 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 blah. The blondie beige um, grips. Me being stupid, I picked the dark ones because I'm clearly not very clever. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is just go. That wasn't smart, was it? So the first thing you want to do is just get your fringe um, wherever you want it, like around here. Just sort of comb, comb the ends because the roots will be like a bit textured so that is better for like buffing it up. Then you just want to place it where you want it and buff it up a certain amount like that, get a grip, open it, and secure it, my phone just went off, and get another grip and secure it the other way, like so, okay, and then you want to get some hairspray, buff it like that, so like push, push your forehead back, spray it, stay in that size, spray it, then volumize this bit, spray it, and this bit, spray it. <laughs> so it looks like something like that. And that is hair, that's, well that's look number three we'll call it. Okay so for this next look you're going to need hair straighteners. These are just the uh, um, like normal size GHGs, the like most common ones. Um, I'm basically just going to like wave the one side and slightly wave this side a little bit. Now, to wave your hair, you need to get a chunk. And you just start from the top, put it one way, drag it down a little bit, then the next way, drag it down a bit, and again, drag it down a bit, up. And with the ends, you want to flick it down. 
So your wave looks something like that. I'm quickly going to do this all over this side of my hair. I will come back and show you this side after. Okay, so when it's done, it looks like something like this. Now, this is like kind of wet looking and it looks kind of good. Um, I put, because I've obviously just put wax in my hair before, um, I just went over it with the straighteners and it, I haven't done that before and it looks really good actually. So if you want like a more like kind of wet texturized look when you do this, um, put wax in beforehand or you can put wax in after. Um, now for this side I do this a little lighter, I don't really go too full hog with it because it's shorter and it sticks out a lot. So just do the same but do it a bit more quickly. Okay, so it looks like that, and then I just tuck it behind my ear. Just like rough it up, whatever. Like so. This is what the finish up looks like. You can just finish it with hairspray. My straighteners are in the way. I'm so, I think I'm gonna die from like hairspray insta in hairspray insta installation in inhalation. I've sprayed so much, I'm choking. It's unbelievable. But yeah, this is actually probably my favourite out of all of these. It looks a lot better in person. I yeah, I, this is probably the most common one I would do along with the first hairstyle I did. So. That is basically waving your short hair. You can still have wavy hair when it's short. It doesn't have to be long. I think this looks pretty funky. And I would definitely wear it. That is look number five, I want to say. Or it could be six. I can't count, apparently. So another quick look is just pinning your fringe back. You can do this with curly hair, with the straight hair, with the volumised hair. Just get a bobby pin grip thing. Um, open it up. Grab your fringe, pull it to this side, tuck it under your hair here, and just pin it in place like so. And then just, you might have short bits here, just spray that in. Like so. And then volumize this up, put it over the pin so you can't really see it. looks a little something like that. It looks better in person but again I can't really pull this look off because I have a very big forehead <laughs> and I don't really like showing my forehead because it's not a pretty sight. But this is this is very cute if you've like, you can even show the pin, the pin looks cute you know. Okay. So that is, that is look number six or seven because remember I can't count. Okay, so those are all the looks um, I know of for short hair. There probably are a lot lot more, but I am very sleepy right now, so I can't really think of any. So those are the ones that I really know of and that I do. Um, again, I was doing those very quickly, so I, I do not go out looking like that, believe me. I was just being quick for the purpose of the video. So if you are doing them, like make sure they look a bit uh, more professional and more done properly done. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.